Want to work with raw files faster? Stay glued to your seat. It's Thomas from the Zoner Photo Studio team. In today's video, we'll cover another new feature from the spring update of Zoner Photo Studio X. I'm talking about Smart Raws, and now working with raw files is going to be faster than ever, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. If you work with raw files, then I'm sure you know it's a long process, but really, our computers are working as hard as they can to process that data. Smart Raw is a way of eliminating the wait time and speeding up the work. And here's what that looks like. We have a folder containing raw files which have not yet been edited with Zoner Photo Studio. In the Manager module, we can view their previews and sort through them quickly here. You can learn about our fast previews in another video, and you'll find the link to that video in the description below. The moment we open an unedited raw file in the Develop module, Zoner begins to process the file and this takes a while. We can't do anything with the photo while this is taking place. And up to this point, we still haven't utilized our new feature, Smart Raws. Let's make an adjustment and move to another raw file. Again, we're left waiting and this is going to really slow us down after some time. Here's where Smart Raws come into play. The first thing we can notice about Smart Raws is that whenever we return to an already processed RAW file, it loads instantly in develop as a smart RAW. There's no need to wait and we can edit right away. But let's focus on more than just individual files. Imagine we have a folder full of RAW files and we want to edit but simply don't want to wait. It would be a good idea to pre-process the smart RAWs of the entire folder at once. You can jump out for a coffee in the meantime and then enjoy an uninterrupted workflow once you come back. To activate this pre-processing, simply find the folder in the navigator on the left side and click on the small lightning bolt icon. Zoner will instantly begin to pre-process the raw files contained in the folder and will notify you. The program will load the smart raws for that given folder as the default setting, but won't load any of the raws in the subfolders. If you want to include subfolders, you can simply do this by right-clicking in the menu. Let's take a look at the loading notification. We can stop the process at any time or allocate full priority to this task. This will prevent the computer from going to sleep, for instance, but it will respond very slowly and will not be suitable for any other activities. Let's skip to when the processing is complete and where all of our raw files are pre-processed in our chosen folder. Now we can browse through the photos in the develop module and see that the work is unquestionably faster. We can edit any raw file immediately. But most of all, Smart Raws will save you lots of work if you set it up in the catalog. With the spring update, you can set a specific Smart Raw pre-processing standard for each folder added to the catalog. Let me show you two examples for different workflow styles. This first example will be familiar to people that shoot events, concerts, and weddings. Our memory cards are full after such an event, and we know for certain that many of the images will be deleted. So. It wouldn't make much sense to preload the smart raws for all of these photos because we don't need the full quality to inspect things like exposure and sharpness of each picture. In this situation, for the folder named events, we have chosen the perform cataloging only option in the catalog settings. Now, if we add another folder into the current event folder, the program won't begin pre-processing the smart raws for it. We can browse, sort, and delete unsuitable photos and only after, when we want to work with the raw files effectively, will we start the pre-processing by clicking on the lightning bolt icon by the specific folder. Depending on the number of photos we have, this could take some time, so let's just jump ahead in time. After the smart raws are loaded, we can work with the photographs without any delay. The next example is completely opposite to the former scenario. If we know that we will continue to work with all the photos we took or examine them further, it's useful to have the smart raws located for all of the photos right after importing them. In our situation, this is represented by the projects folder where we choose to preload the smart raws. Now, when we add a folder with photos into the folder, the program starts processing the smart raws instantly. Here again, the processing time depends on the amount of photos we have in the newly added folder or any other folders we've added. You may have noticed one more option for the Smart Raw Catalog processing settings though. This happens to be the default setting for the newly added folders. It's called Preload Developed Fast Previews, and it does exactly that. If we have pictures already processed in the Develop module, 
This option will ensure that we're looking at the most current preview versions. So this option is suitable for both folders we already have in the catalog from the past or specific photos we've already adjusted in some way. And that's that. I hope this tutorial has shown you that working with RAW files in Zoner Photo Studio X will be effective no matter what your preferred workflow is. Thanks for watching and have a good one.